Hey, this is Mr. Nillian. In this video, I want to show you how to find a missing number in a data set if you have the average. So let's assume that um, every quarter, you know that Mr. Nillian has four quizzes or basically tests. So what if um, on the first test, somebody got a 92 and then they did even better on the second test and they got a 93. Ooh, but then on the third test, they didn't quite grasp the material like they wanted to. They got an 80. What would they need to get on that fourth test if they're really aiming to get an A, which is, of course, a 90? So they want to get at least a 90 overall. That would be their average, their mean. Hmm. Well, you can fudge around with it, you know, try to, you know, up this and down this and try to figure it out like that. Or you could simply say, okay, look, there's four tests, right? So I know that if I have an average of 90, I know that for all four tests, I need to have the total of what four times 90 would be. So four times 90 is, um, well, 360. So I know that these four numbers need to add up to this in order for me to divide this by four to go back to 90, right? Makes sense. I mean, I mean, there's four tests. I want the average to be 90. Well, the average is when you take the total and divide it by whatever the number of tests are or the number of data to get your average. So we're kind of working backwards here. So let's take these other numbers that we actually know. Let's take those and add them. So you have 92 plus 93 plus 80. Now remember, we're working with data and we have a lot more numbers in the ones you'll be doing today. So grab that calculator. It's okay. We're going to take 92. And I know we can do this without a calculator. But there's going to be a lot bigger numbers today, so get that ready. So if you put the numbers in correctly, you have 92 plus 93 plus 80 is equal to 265. All right? So I want to find the missing number. Well, if all of these equal 265 and I need one more number to get that, what are you going to do? You know that all of this added together will get you this, because if this divided by this gets you this, well... Of course, we're going to just take this number and we're going to add it to the number we don't know to get this. Well, I mean, obviously, if we don't know that number, we just subtract this from this. All right, so we grab our calculators and we put 360. We're subtracting 265. So it looks like on the last test, we're going to need to get a 95. Now, there are other ways to do this as well. We can do this with more algebra, you know, adding and dividing and multiplying with the, the equal sign and everything. But I'm showing you one of the ways that really makes sense to me. <clears throat> so we have to know what that number is in order to get the average. Well, what if we already have the average we are trying to get? We want to get at least a 90. So that means that at the end, I need to get at least a 95 on my next test in order to make an average of 90 or better. So... If you don't know something you're missing, find out how many you have total. One, two, three is not the total. There's going to be four tests total. Multiply it by the average you're trying to aim for. Get that number right there. Make these numbers and this number. Make this plus this total to this. Okay? So if that makes sense, you're kind of just working backwards on this one. If you have any questions, make sure you bring them to the table on Tuesday. Uh, and I will see you then. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.